Hello, 5M community. In today's tutorial, I'm excited to share a game-changing tip that will revolutionize the way you and your team develop and test your server. We all know how crucial it is to have testers in the early stages of server development, but the costs associated with hosting can be a barrier. That's where Play.G comes into play, your solution to allow friends or fellow developers to join your local host without the hassle of port forwarding. This method not only simplifies the process, but also ensures that you can keep development and testing efficient and cost-effective. I've included the link to play.g in the video description for easy access. So, let's dive in and discover how to seamlessly bring your team together on your local server, making your development process smoother and more collaborative. When you visit the play.g website, you'll be greeted with the option to download the software. Go ahead and click on it. On the following screen, you'll choose the installer type. Assuming most of us are on Windows, select the Windows installer, click to download the software, and once it's downloaded, proceed with the installation process. It's straightforward. Just hit next and follow along with the video guide. After reinstallation, search for play.g on your computer and open it. This action launches a terminal window displaying an agent link. Copy this link and paste it into your browser. Here, you'll go through the account creation process. Once your account is set up, you'll be prompted with an Add New Agent pop-up. Ensure the IP address is correct and continue. In the subsequent pop-up, you'll select a name and agent type. Stick with the default agent type. The next step completes the connection to the terminal. Following this, you'll see an option to add a tunnel. This is crucial. You may select the global Anycast option, though it places your server in a random global location. For a specific location, considering a premium plan might be beneficial. When choosing the tunnel type, aim for the TCP plus UDP protocol. However, due to a current bug on the web page, start by selecting the UDP protocol wait for a refresh, and then agree to the terms about not hosting malware. After the refresh, you can choose the TCP plus UDP protocol option. The default port for everyone's local server is typically 30120, but you can verify this through TX Admin for your specific port. Once the tunnel is up and running, you'll find all the necessary information at the bottom of the page. However, for a clearer overview, look at the top of the page. Essentially, PlayGG takes your local address, routes it through their data center, and generates a shareable public link. All you need to do from here is copy the public address and share it with your fellow developers or friends. They can then access your server by pasting this link into their browser or using the F8 console in 5M, typing connect, followed by the public address. Remember, ensure your local host is actively running and that you, as the host owner, are already connected to the server before inviting others to join. This ensures a seamless connection and testing experience for everyone involved. And that brings us to the end of today's tutorial on how to let friends or fellow developers join your local host server without the need for port forwarding using Play.G. This method offers a fantastic way to test and develop your server in the early stages without incurring hosting costs. I managed to get this setup working although I faced some challenges in getting more than one person to join the server using this method. If you or your friends are able to join without any issues, we would love to hear about your experience. Your feedback is invaluable as it helps us and the entire 5M community explore new possibilities and solutions. Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Whether it worked seamlessly for you or if you encountered any hurdles, your input can provide crucial insights for others trying out this method. I'm Brave, and I want to thank you for joining me in exploring another innovative way to enhance our 5M servers. Your support and engagement are what drive this community forward. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep enjoying the vast world of 5M.
A quick update on our Discord community. The Exquis, previously a separate entity within our main Discord, has now been integrated into a single unified platform. I'm thrilled to introduce Coden, our dedicated 5M developer hub. With over 650 active users and developers, Coden serves as a vibrant space for those seeking assistance and those eager to lend their expertise. In an effort to streamline support and collaboration, I've restructured the Discord to cater to specific frameworks, making it easier for members to find the help they need. Additionally, I've set up forums where I'll be sharing my latest videos directly, ensuring you have hassle-free access to new script links without the interruption of ads. A extra user forum also provide a space for members to exchange free scripts, request videos on specific topics, and we also have developers who creates custom vehicles and Vinewood logo sign from scratch. Coden is not just a hub for sharing knowledge. It's a community where creativity and collaboration thrive. We're also on the lookout for moderators to help maintain a supportive and engaging environment. So if you're passionate about 5M development, eager to learn, share, or simply be part of an active developer community, Coden is the place for you. Join us and be part of our growing 5M developer hub. Your journey to mastering 5M development starts here.